Okay, this is take number 20. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is Lucky from Great Gadgets and Gear. I got another uh, review for you. This is the Flextail Gear Max Pump. Uh, there's a lot of these pumps under a lot of different names. Uh, we'll go over some quick boring specs and then we'll get to it. This is the square unit, which is for larger items, pool floats, air mattresses, the big giant swimming tubes. Comes in three colors, gray, white, or orange. It runs 34 bucks on Amazon. It comes with different attachments, which I'll show you in a minute. It's 3,600 milliamp hours. It's waterproof, IPX4, 160 grams. It not only inflates, it deflates, and you can use it with those compression bags, you know, to shrink stuff down. It's USB rechargeable. It does come with a cable. Uh, it has a red light to let you know that it's charging. It has a green light to let you know when the charging is completed. It does take a while to recharge it. They do make smaller, the round version of this pump for smaller pool items. Um, and it's a little cheaper. It's around 27 bucks, but it's the same milliamp hours, which is interesting. Okay, so this is, this. Is, I'll show you, this is all the stuff that comes in a box. Obviously, I've taken it out. I've already had to test it and everything. So, uh, so they give you a nice little bag from this company. You get your charging cable, uh, a rubber attachment, a large attachment for larger inflatables. Uh, this one is for uh, deflation. And this one is for smaller type pool stuff. And then here's the pump. So let's take a look at that. There's our brand name. There's the inflation connection. This is the on off switch. This is the, I think it's a micro USB to recharge, which I like, that's cool. Um, underneath, there is some information there. Sorry about my dirty floor. You're gonna have to excuse the mud and stuff on the floor, but um, I've been doing a lot of testing today, so I've been running in and out and getting crap all over the house, but I'm single, so who cares? <laughs> I'll clean it up later. Uh, and this is the def uh, deflation uh, port. Okay. So, there, you know, there's there's not really much to go into here. It's a pump. It inflates, it deflates. It's light. It's compact. It's rechargeable. It's easy to carry around. It's not a bunch of work huffing and puffing trying to blow stuff up. Uh, so far with my experience of it, it's been pretty great. I haven't blow, tried to blow up an air mattress yet. Um, that'll probably be another test, but I, I'll show you what I did blow up with it in a minute. So you get a bonus review. <laughs> um, the only thing about this unit is, is it's, it's extremely loud. It's, it's very, very noisy. So if you're trying to be quiet, you're going to have to go back to huffing and puffing with the pump. Um, cause this is not it. And I'm going to show you how loud it is in a minute. The on-off switch also doubles for the indicator light for charging or letting you know when it needs to charge. I think it flashes red when it needs to charge. Um, and when it's when it's charging, it's solid red. And then after however many hours, I think that mine came partially charged, so I did like four hours. And then it glows green. Unplug it, you're all done. How long it lasts, that's another thing. I haven't run it continuously. They tell you not to run it longer than 10 minutes, but... I don't know, uh, it's pretty quick. I haven't gotten to that point. So I'm gonna turn it on real quick so you can hear how loud it is. Okay, and for the bonus, I'm gonna blow something up. So, for the next part of this, this is probably going to be a two-part video. I'm sorry. This stupid camera I bought, I'm not liking it. It's a Canon, but it doesn't have pause. It doesn't have long periods of record time, and it splits stuff up on its own, and I don't like it. But right now I'm stuck with it because my old camera is not doing really good. <laughs> it's showing spots and stuff on the on the thing. But anyways, this is the Intex River, uh, River One One. It's a one-person lounger. This thing is really cool, man. Um, I got these on Amazon as well. I buy most of the stuff from Amazon because you get the stuff pretty cheap and they have a really good return policy uh, also in case of any problems. So uh, it's 53 inches in diameter which is a really good size. This isn't a kitty tube, it's an adult tube. They're 13 bucks. I mean that's pretty cruel, pretty reasonable. So far I know the colors are red and blue. 
The cool thing is, is they have an attachment system, which I will show you. All right, nothing's cooperating today. And your little picture there, the connect and float system. You can connect tubes together at the party and you can get coolers for this thing. The one pictured there is a small round one. They also have uh, a larger square one. Very cool. They're also really inexpensive. Um, so you can connect everything together and float down and drink yourself silly and have a good time. These are really, really nice tubes. Uh, they have a, a grab rope that runs around them. They have a backrest. They have cup holders, two cup holders on each one. They have a mesh bottom that you sit on. It's comfortable, you can get your butt wet when you're out there and it drains really easy. And uh, it's got a couple of really nice grab handles. So let's show you, this is how it came out of the box. Like that. And here's your uh, grab rope which you attach. And then this is their connect system. Uh, these two connectors connect into each other. So if you have one tied on this rope, tied to your tube, you can connect the other end to the, somebody else's tube and so on and so on uh, for the coolers too. Uh, it also comes with a little patch piece, you know, piece of... Wow, I really can't talk today. I'm trying to go too fast, I guess. A patch, you know, a sticky patch, so it's kind of an inexpensive patch. Okay, so let's get this open. And I don't know how good of a view we're going to get with this camera because I might have to go in the other room just to get it in frame. They give you a Chinese instruction sheet. That's what I do with those. <laughs> and Okay. These little cardboard things are just for packing so the cup holders don't get crushed little tubes okay so they got some really cool handles they're rubbery feeling they're not plasticky feeling uh, really nice they're attached very well here's your attachment points for your connecting and for your grab handle and your cup holders plastic rigid pretty rigid and then get around here Here's your backrest. We'll blow it up so you can see that a little bit better. And then you can see in the center there the mesh where your butt goes. So this, they're pretty cool looking. And like I said, they're pretty big. They're nice size. So let's blow this up and see what we get. So it's going to be a little, a little noisy here. But watch how quick this thing blows up. Uh, you know what, I'll do the headrest last. The only problem I see with this, because I've already blown one up in the garage, is because of their system here, it is, it's a square thing in a round hole, which is funny, but <laughs> you unscrew it to get at it, to give it the air, like that. Oh wait, hey, check this out, I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know, oh, that must be for deflation. There's, it's actually a double unit here. All right, cool. Maybe that'll fill up better. Nope, I did it again. Huh. How did that? There we go. Get a... There we go. So there's that piece you can't see. There's that piece. Must be for... I don't know why it's like that. Maybe deflation. If anybody knows, let me know. So anyways, I just pulled off the top so it gets me a little closer to filling it up. And then use this connector here. Nope. All right, maybe that's why. Let's see, do we have a, all right, let's try the rubber piece. <laughs> I used I used this one on the other one and it filled it up like 95% of the way, but it was still a little soft. So let's try this connector and see if it does a better job. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't have my clock, I can't time it, let's see. Wow, this way it's taking longer. This 
way it's taking much longer. When I pulled the entire plug out and used that other attachment I showed you, man, it filled up like within seconds. This is taking a little longer for some reason. I don't feel any leaks. I'll try it this way first and see if it fills up though to the firm level that it's supposed to be. The one in the garage was still kind of soft. This is taking a really long time, huh? I am not liking this attachment. I'm not quite at a minute yet. Wait a minute now. I think it'll only fill it so high too for the pressure. I'm gonna say that's probably about it. So that's at a minute and a half, and it's got, with this cap on the right way, <laughs> the air doesn't come back out. I took the whole thing out, and it filled up, well, I ain't kidding you, within like, I think 15 seconds. We'll actually show it if I got time here. All right, now we'll change attachments. Go to this little cone one for the headrest, because this one's got like a blow-up raft type deal. Sorry, I didn't watch the time on this one. I don't think it's going to be that long, maybe 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna say that's it for that. Get in there. Okay, so you get the general gist. That is pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's pretty firm. So then, like I said, you take that rope, which I don't know where I spun that to now. There it is. You take this rope and you run it through these connectors, except for the one by the handles. Those are to connect either way. This rope with the connectors to connect to other stuff. Nice grab handles, man. Cup holders, they look like for like a can of pop or a really skinny bottle of water. But this thing's pretty cool. I can't, I can't wait to try this out. I got two of them. And if all goes well, I'm gonna get the cooler too because this is just, this is cool. <laughs> so now we're gonna deflate it real quick. Not the headrest, I'm just gonna deflate the raft itself. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how I filled it up the first time. All right, this is their deflation. I should have used the machine, but let's see. See if we can help it along. I mean, crap, look at it, it's already <laughs> it's already deflated. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with it. It's already. 
why doesn't these get it? Let's try this one. Let's see if I can get it to deflate. Hmm, this thing does not want to cooperate. Why are you not cooperating? Okay, so on the top of the pump is the deflation. Stick her in a hole and... Coming down pretty good. Like I said, I'm not going to do the headrest. But you can see it's pretty flat. It's to the ground. High pitch noise. Okay. Now, watch when you take the whole connector out, the two piece connector out. Watch how fast this thing inflates. But it's harder to get it firm this way. Cause you know, once you pull it out, then it's got an open thing, but oh my God, I was really surprised. Hmm. All right, I guess maybe I thought it was faster. <laughs> it's faster than my hand pump. <laughs> And a lot less work. It might be slightly faster than because the opening's bigger this way, but right there it's filled, but by the time you screw the cap back in, you're gonna lose a really good amount of pressure. So do it the other way. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Uh, obviously this might be a good video to um, to do out in the field to show you floating down the river or whatever with this thing very cool uh, both both items here I, I really like both items so far so good uh, well this is 18 gauge vinyl we'll see how it holds up uh, it feels reasonably thin you know hopefully I'm not gonna be hitting a bunch of rocks or dead trees or I don't know depending on where you go but wow, this should be cool, man. <laughs> I bought a lot of cool, fun summer stuff. So a lot of the reviews are going to be based on that, obviously. Um, so do I recommend it? The raft, if it holds up, hell yes. This is totally cool. A lot of fun. Uh, especially if you connect up and get a lot of people to go and have a cooler. <laughs> you know, and have, you know, have one person's car at one end, one person's car at the other end, and just float down the river leisurely. That is a lot of fun. I've done it in the Green River in Kentucky in a regular tube. Like, I think it was a tractor tube or something. Man, that was a blast. A blast. But you didn't have any of the cool shit, like the, excuse me, the cool uh, stuff like the the grab handles and stuff. And it didn't have uh, cup holders and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, or the backrest. That's really cool. I want to see how that thing holds up out there when you're leaning against it but boy it's gonna have to be a lot full 